we're going to be palpating the muscle known as semimembranosus. I'm going to be starting by finding the ischial tuberosity of the ischium, so just below the gluteal area, sinking in, so right in this area here. Now what's interesting about semimembranosus is I'm putting two fingers down to kind of indicate the biceps femoris as well as semitendinosus, but membranosus actually comes underneath both of them and heads out a little bit more lateral than that. So let's try to draw it this way instead. So semimembranosus being underneath, it actually travels deep to those two tendons, still to the ischial tuberosity, but a little bit more under, sunk in deep and lateral to the two previous ones. So it's gonna be really challenging to separate where semitendinosus, biceps femoris versus semimembranosus. So we're actually not going to. You're really gonna treat these as one attachment for the most part, um, but you might have to do various deep techniques across that whole area. Because it's really challenging to separate the origins, we're gonna look more at the distal attachment instead. So I'm gonna jump down to the lower half and into that distal attachment. First thing I'm gonna do is identify semitendinosus. So as I'm just gently strumming back and forth, uh, my partner here is holding her own leg up a little bit, so it's making it easier for me to feel this tendon. So if I can identify semitendinosus, what you're gonna do is drop on either side of that tendon. So I'm widening my grip. So again, tendon right here, about this big. You're gonna widen on both sides and then sink in. So if you can sink in, underneath semitendinosus is quite a large semimembranosus. So I'm trying to show you that I'm underneath the first layer, I'm sinking in with pads, I'm going back and forth, and I can feel quite a bit of resistance from a muscle. Let's just orient ourselves straight for a moment. So we have semitendinosus on top, we have semimembranosus underneath that, and over here on this side is biceps femoris. So I'm sticking away from biceps femoris, kind of going more in the middle of the knee and grasping a little bit deeper and a little bit wider. For semimembranosis, it's going to be inserting onto the posterior aspect of the tibia. So you're following this across the posterior knee joint and inserting right into the back of the tibia. So we have two names for this. We could call this the groove for semimembranosus, which is a horizontal groove on the back of the tibia, or you could just say it inserts onto the posterior medial tibial condyle, which is where that groove for semimembranosus is. Again, I'm gonna ask you to hold your own leg up in the air for a minute, great, and I can quite easily feel that muscle inserting. This is gonna be deep to kind of gastrox, but it's above the soleus muscle. So you should be able to kind of sink in here and feel that attachment for semimembranosus. Okay, I'm gonna start following this muscle up. Again, it's underneath semitendinosus. So while semitendinosus is in its tendinous distal form, you're gonna easily be able to separate the two. But as we get up more into the proximal half, it's gonna be really challenging to try and separate semitendinosus and membranosus. However, semimembranosus is a little bit closer to those adductors because it is deeper. So I'm just gonna roll the leg out a little bit. So this is the adductor group right in here. And I'm gonna ask for her to hold her own leg and push up into me with a little bit of force. So right in this part here, I can actually start separating the adductors from the hamstrings. And while you're sinking in along that edge close to those AD ductors, you're finding primarily only this muscle semimembranosus. So I'm gonna be following that up right up towards that ischial tuberosity. And as I said, it's going deep to the other two before it originates on that ischial tuberosity. So as you're palpating on the medial hamstrings, you're inevitably grabbing both semitendinosus and membranosus. But if you're treating right up against the adductor group, this is primarily more of a semimembranosus palpation. 
semimembranosus and tendinosus and biceps femoris are all doing the same actions at flexion of the knee and extension of the acetabulofemoral joint. That's going to conclude our palpation of semimembranosus.